It's a happy return home for a horse who was treated at Purdue for multiple gunshot wounds. News 18's Brittany Tyner was there when Sonny was reunited with his owner earlier this afternoon. It was such a senseless act of violence that uh, I can't even comprehend. Brad Lan is still trying to figure out why anybody would shoot two horses multiple times. Land is a lifelong friend of the owner of the two horses. Last Wednesday, he received that heart wrenching phone call. He said, Brad, uh, there's been an accident or, or something's happened out at the farm where Bobby keeps his horses. Apparently, one of them may be dead and the other one's hurt. Sure enough, three year old Sonny was suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. His mother, Lucy, didn't survive. Land says he and Bobby rushed Sonny to Purdue's large animal hospital. He says he was immediately impressed with the staff. Every one of them was busy doing blood samples and, and looking for internal bleeding and shaving and, and, and hooking up IVs. And, and, and one of them just comforted the horse. The staff's hard work paid off. Dr. Richard Hartman says when Sonny first arrived, he was in shock. He says as doctors worked with him throughout the week, Sonny started to heal. His attitude improved, his appetite improved, the swelling around his wounds improved while he was in the hospital, just overall his appearance and attitude. Sonny may have lost his mother in the shooting, but Sonny gets to go home to a loving, caring owner and friends. You could say sunnier, brighter days are ahead. Brittany Tyner, News 18. Well, I'm glad there's a positive story, at least positive end to that part of the story. Anderson police are investigating the shooting. No arrests have been made at this time.